What's up, Saiyan Army? Did you guys like that intro? I filmed that when I was filming my Q&A and I was just feeling it. And when you're feeling it, you just gotta unleash that shit. Anyways, back to the workout. Today's workout is just shoulders and triceps, the rest of my push workout. The reason being, if you want to see the first half, the benching half, watch my how to build chest aesthetics video. That's all the benching. So this is the second half of the workout that we filmed. So starting it off, we're doing four sets of eight reps with 70, po 70 pound dumbbells sitting on that short shoulder press bench and not the regular flat bench which makes it harder so we just started using the short bench so we're going to continue to use it so we can have accurate readings in our shoulder press so we got four sets of this enjoy dj kick that music dumbbell press, standing overhead press, and side laterals with dumbbells. That's your triple threat to build that lateral head. Hit all three, they're guaranteed to grow. Go ahead and get strong. Next up, we got that double threat. If you guys want a big boulder shoulders, do some seated shoulder press as well as overhead press. Those are, in my opinion, the two best exercises for building and developing awesome lateral head on your shoulders. So we're doing pussy weight here, just 25 pounds on each side. The reason is we're doing sets of 10. So here we did four sets of 10, really feeling that squeeze and contraction. Not going really heavy because this was back to back right after hitting all those seated shoulder presses. That's why we're going very light, getting that nice squeeze. Yeah. Like from seated dumbbell to or overhead press, so light, we're just hitting 10 reps. But your shoulders get crazy pumped because they're already fatigued from the seated dumbbell press. Give it a try. Pump is off the hook. Next up, we got that close grip bench press. This is an exercise I haven't done in a really long time. The last time I did it was with Nick Wright, but the time before that was months and months and months ago. I can't even remember. Reason being, I had tricep tendonitis that came back. It went away 100% good and gone until it comes back, probably in a couple of years, but it's okay. As long as you nurse it, it goes away. Back to the workout. So we're hitting some close grip bench press. We started off 225. That was a little heavy for sets of eight, so we backed it off to 185. Just really trying to get that form down. Really, it felt really uncomfortable and weird to do. This is an exercise I did a lot in my earlier years of lifting, and it feel like it helped a lot in, with, in developing my triceps. And I'm gonna bring it back. 
This will be a stable exercise in my road to 18 inch arms. As mentioned, next up we're hitting that Goku press. Really all it is is a flat hammer strength press, dropping the seat down till the bar is right up by your by your anterior deltoid or your front shoulders and squeezing the crap out of your upper chest. We don't have an inclined hammer strength at our gym, so we gotta improvise. I think personally I like this a lot better than the inclined hammer strength press because it doesn't use as much tricep activation and uh, you can feel it isolate the chest a little bit more so that's the end of the video guys comment below let me know what you guys think i tried to do a mix of th the best three music voiceover and workout footage so let me know what you guys think Alright guys, that's the end of my push workout. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure before you guys leave, hit that like button and subscribe if you guys aren't. Make some gains and I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love. Aloha. Go Flex. Out. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! How to build a big and aesthetic chest. <laughs>